Dum da dum dum. Well, hello there, guys. Sean. From you know where. Before we get to the X68 video, um, I just want to say thanks for your support over the past few years. Um, again, I, I mentioned this before, I, I, I'm just a low production budget uh, channel. You know, I'm never going to be any more. Uh, I, I, I really just don't have the time. So I do what I can with what I can and I couldn't do without you guys. Uh, almost, we're almost at like 66 or we're over 6,600 uh, subscribers now, close to 2 million views, which is crazy for me. Uh, never thought of that in a million years. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy New Year. Here's to 2025 being a great year. Without further ado, the Pistel X68 I punctured yesterday. It is uh, almost 2 p.m. on December 31st that the marker has been sitting on the table. And if you saw the short yesterday, no, this morning, this morning, uh, yesterday, jeez, it's, it's been that kind of day. Um, I did check on it. I kind of, I tweaked its little cap just, just, just a little bit and it hissed. So it's still holding air, but that doesn't mean it's gonna fire. Uh, it doesn't mean it hasn't failed since then. That was at 5.30 a.m. this morning. So here we are, 2 p.m. Let me count on my fingers. 6.30 p.m. would be 12 hours, 7 30, 8 30, 9 30, 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 30, and a half. So seven and a half plus 12 is 19 and a half hours. Oh, you guys, you know, Leslie the Bordellis, right? 19 and a half hours of pistol has been punctured and sitting on the table. I'm going to grab the camera. We're going to throw it. I'm going to load the magazine and see what it does. Ta-da! All right. Here is something that you may have noticed this morning. I picked up on it, but I didn't say nothing. Obviously, the launcher is still in one piece. This morning, it did... Um, did a little, little, little fart out when I when I twisted its uh, nip here. Is this little spot on my mat, this kind of wet silicone spot, which I suspect is a leak. I don't see anything on the marker, but that doesn't mean it's not leaking. Seven rounds of 9.9 .9 gram right balls so six in the mag one in the chamber there you go let's fire it or not 19 and a half hours on this puncture Three thirty-six. It stuttered like a mother. It fired. That's one shot, and right on par with what it was normally shooting on a fresh puncture. Three twenty. Sure is a lot of frost coming out of the end, which is unusual for this marker. It usually does very well uh, balancing that. That 12 gram CO2. Whoa, she smells like uh you know what though? You, she smells like a burning oil. Yeah, well, not burning. You guys know what I mean when you've over-oiled your launcher and you get that kind of spray. Um I did give this its best chance and give it a good squirt down there. Shot number three. 312. Shot four. 294. Drive five. Sounds weak. 260. I did give her a squeak this morning. 
lost track. I think that shot number six, 230, way under how this marker would perform on a fresh puncture, of course. And that's it. Should be one left in there. Mag's empty. So didn't fire the breech ball. I heard the I heard the end cap click back. Wow, I mean I don't detect any obvious problem aside from you should not do that. You should not puncture your marker for 19 and a half hours. But now it does raise the question. 19 and a half is clearly too wrong and nobody in their right mind is doing that unless you just forgot. But for a reasonable fellow that's going out on a day trip, you may want to puncture, you know, in your vehicle before you step out, you know, not as you're leaving the house, Possibly, but like I said, hop in your vehicle, drive to your location, puncture, holster, and you want this to maybe last for six to eight hours. So, 19 hours, pretty good start, but uh, begs the question. Three to six hours is what I'm assuming that most people would probably want to carry a, a punctured pistol, a pre punctured pistol. So I think uh, we'll have to try that next. But before then, we are going to, I still need to open this. I need to see what's going on inside here. As I said, all I got is some drawings and all your videos that you guys put out there on your own. And there's some characters that like uh, the Jersey guy who's gone out and pretty much replaced O-rings in his launcher without needing to kind of it's almost like something i would have done but credit where credit's due messing with something that is working is probably not the smartest move but i 100 percent appreciate that so i'm going to put his link to his channel down in this video description so you can go check it out uh and next we're gonna poke around inside probably swap some o-rings just because my oh, heck you know what you know what let's load another mag and i'll just bang them off <sighs> okay fresh co2 trying to get out of here new year's right uh six rounds one in the reach the same ride balls Not gonna chrono this. I just wanna see, well, you know what, let's back it. <sighs> yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna chrono it quickly. So if it's too fast, hit that slow-mo button. All right. Sounded about right. Are you 20? Power's maybe a little bit down. Are you 08? Are you 02? Consistency is holding steady though. Didn't didn't quite didn't quite start as high as it normally does. But I guess that's to be expected. I did just fire this off less than like three minutes ago with a 19 and a half hour old CO2.